Hey guys, Tech Tipper 101 here again, back at you, and I'm messing around with iOS 6 beta for my iPad right here. And one big feature that I have to show off to you guys is Maps. Now, Apple completely rehauled, overdid, and kicked Google off as the default Maps provider for iOS. So now, all the images, all the maps, all the cartography is done by Apple. The directions are given by TomTom, Tom, but we'll get into that more in a little bit. So once you launch the Maps app, uh, as you can see, if you were if you use uh, Maps before prior to iOS 6, you'll see the differences in drawing and rendering immediately. So just the basic functions uh, to start off with, we have a location button here and a 3D button here. If you guys can't see it, uh, we can always flip this up. We can drop a pin. We can print Maps. We can show traffic. Uh, we can also have a standard view hybrid view which is standard and satellite mixed and we can have satellite view now those are the basics now the most eye-catching feature obviously is 3d so what Apple is doing right now I'm pretty sure is they have a vehicle or something of some sorts and they're going around places the more popular ones first uh, I guess they get priority to map out the buildings and landscape so you can see it in 3d so the first one they would obviously do is Apple headquarters at infinite loop uh, one infinite loop. So let's let's search for them. Infinite loop Cupertino. So as you can see, that's infinite loop. So right now we are in flyover mode. As you can see, it is as if we're flying or hovering over um, Apple headquarters, and the map automatically moves. They added a really nice touch, which is that the labels move along with the camera so it never stays stationary so if we're facing it from the back we wouldn't see some you know obscure angled text which is really hard to read a really good move on part of Apple now if we zoom in more the maps uh, servers probably are taking a bit of a hit right now but I'm pretty sure uh, once the iOS 6 is finally released it will be more responsive but as you can see it's really really 3D. You can move around, you can zoom in, and you can even you can pan. And it's a really good experience. It it uh, it helps you to know where you actually are better than using uh Google Maps or the previous maps uh before that was supplied with iOS devices. It's it's it's, a, it's an awesome experience. Um, many people might brush it over at first, but once you actually get to use it on your iPhone, as most people I'm pretty sure do not pull out their iPads to check maps, but once you, once you start using it, I'm pretty sure it's going to become one of those things where after you use it, it has to be a feature on every other device. Now, this is 3D, uh, a pretty good feature. You can also ask for directions. Now, the directions are another big, you know, feature implemented into maps. It gives you turn-by-turn -turn directions, which renders, I guess, uh, GPSs useless if this really catches on because more people have uh, iPhones day-to-day -day and they have iPads and you have the 3G iPads. So if you have a data plan and you're anywhere in, in the world, you pretty much can use your iPad or your iPhone as a GPS. You don't have to carry an uh, extra one on you. But TomTom uh, -Tom, uh, provides a lot of the GPS turn-by-turn uh, -turn stuff. So. We have our routes, we can pick any route, and once we press start, as you can see, it tells you when to turn, uh, different places to go, it tells you the upcoming turns, how many miles prior to a turn. You can have this show up in the lock screen for the next turn, if you actually simulate it, and um, you have points of interest. It's, it's so many features baked into this uh, new maps that uh, you really have to take your time to sit down and go through it. You can always pause, you can mess around with it. You can search for um, different points of interest, different stores. So let's search for Starbucks. And as you can see, if we click on Starbucks and we click the information button, we get a little picture uh, supplied by Yelp and we get reviews as well baked into the maps, a feature that was not present before. So. Uh, a lot of features once again guys if you have iOS 6 uh, beta jump into the maps app there's so many different things that's going on and there are a lot of new features added I'm pretty sure this will be a big hit once iOS 6 releases 
for the general public because it will render a lot of people's GPS uh, useless, I'm telling you. And uh, if you guys were actually watching the keynote, Apple announced that they have partnered with a lot of car companies to add a Siri button on your steering wheel in the car. So um, I don't know, Apple is making huge strides in making uh, or taking over a lot of different services that we were using before and condensing it into one device. You know, using Siri in your car rather than the crappy, you know, voice navigation you already have. Uh, I don't know, it's shaping up to be a one crazy year for iOS uh, users out there. So once again, Maps app, guys, check it out. Let me know what you think. If you find any issues, new tips, something you discover, let me know in the comments. So that's pretty much it. Thank you guys for watching. Tech Tipper 101 out. Thank you. Bye-bye.